Hi guys, in this video I want to discuss what's the best strategy after the latest snapshot to get wood in Minecraft. Is it still chopping trees or is it actually cutting down bamboo? So we have the following scenario. Just start a new world and spawn is in a bamboo jungle biome. So what should I do now? Should I start punching a tree or bamboo? Punching trees has been pretty iconic for Minecraft as shown in this legendary South Park clip. No, no, in this Minecraft forest, how do you get wood? P punching trees? Right. You punch the trees to get the wood. You get the wood to build the cabin. Oh, I see. So when does the game start? You are playing the game. This is the game. I wouldn't go as far as saying punching trees is the game, but it's definitely a bit weird that we can now play the game without ever punching any tree again. What we can do instead is punch the bamboo instead. So we just need about half a stack and then we can already make an upgraded tool for this. There we go. Now we can convert bamboo into planks. Also need a little bit for sticks. Then we can make a crafting bench out of this. So we can craft any yeah, material that requires planks now, just with the bamboo planks. We can make pistons, chests, etc. And also tools. So we could make a wooden sword. And that already makes it much faster to cut down the bamboo here. First, the uh, wooden sword doesn't have much of durability, but we can always make more. Compared to punching trees, this is also really convenient. So we never have to climb up the tree. We don't need to worry about any saplings that drop. Because if you just cut down the bamboo here at the second block, the bamboo would regrow on its own. So I would definitely suggest that this is actually superior to punching trees, even if you would start next to two by two trees. But let's actually take this to a test and compare it directly. So I'm going to compare the first two minutes of gameplay, where my only goal is getting as many planks as possible and then place them in a chest. The strategy of punching bamboo compared to punching trees. So here are the results. We definitely have a clear winner. Almost got seven stacks of bamboo planks and only about three stacks of jungle planks. So if you start out in a bamboo forest, I definitely go for bamboo to get your first chest tools and so on. There is of course one downside of bamboo compared to trees. It's not as immediately available. So even if you spawn in a desert biome, there are azalea trees now, so we can chop those down or it doesn't take long until we find the nearest forest biome or similar biome like a savanna where trees grow. On the other hand, it might take a while until you find a bamboo jungle, but it's actually not required. So in this case, the next bamboo jungle would be around 1100 blocks away. But all you actually need to yeah, search for in case you want to get guaranteed bamboo is any jungle biome. This could be a classic jungle biome or the new sparse jungle biome because you can do fishing in there and have a chance to get bamboo this way. It's also not required to do some active fishing because bamboo is not in the treasure category of fishing. So you could just build one of those classic simple AFK fish farms that basically consists out of a handful of blocks. So you just need a note block here or there's also other alternatives. Yeah, you can just go AFK fishing like this. So the bamboo is in a junk category and you have roughly a 1% chance to get bamboo each time. On average, it takes about 20 seconds to get an item. So on average, it should take you around 30 minutes to get bamboo this way. If you're specifically looking for bamboo, it's also worth it to check shipwrecks on the way. In the supply chest, there is a 14% chance to find some bamboo as well. 
It's also noteworthy that if you find a regular jungle that is large enough, you're almost guaranteed to find at least some bamboo in between. So it's not even necessary to do the AFK fishing. And in case you even find a jungle pyramid, you have a 50% chance that the chest would contain some bamboo. I think that shows that getting at least some bamboo to start farming it is definitely not an impossible task that takes hours upon hours. So usually if you go exploring a little bit within half an hour you should have at least some bamboo. Alright so next we're gonna take a look at once you're established and you wanna start farming near your base. So just running to the next forest or bamboo forest to cut down some is no longer good enough you want something sustainable. So is it better now to use bamboo or is farming trees better? Okay, so first we're gonna take a look at a completely manual farm. So no redstone, no TNT, just a sword, and we already got some malaise, you know, super easy to duplicate, so it shouldn't be any problem to get also 20 of those guys. Alright, so I'm gonna just test this for me for one minute, see yeah, how much bamboo we're getting with this. So all I'm doing is basically just uh, cutting down the bamboo, and the lace will bring the bamboo to me. That should be super helpful. It's kind of hard otherwise um, to automate the collection. Could have a ton of hopper minecarts below, but the LA's I feel like they do a really good job at providing you with the materials. Not even sure what's the best speed, <laughs> but we're already filling the inventory pretty quickly. Seems like the LA is definitely capable of keeping up. And keep in mind you can always make more. All you need is an emesis shot. So maybe even 50 LA's could be something you can get. Yeah. Almost got a completely filled inventory. And we're not even at one minute. Okay, now reached the end. Now we could craft this into planks. So we easily got like nine stacks of planks in one minute. Probably even more. Okay, now let's compare this to chopping wood. I think the most efficient tree when it comes to chopping wood is definitely the 2v2 spruce tree. Right, one advantage definitely of farming wood is that it requires less space. Bamboo farm would get quite large compared to the yeah, small footprint of a tree farm. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna just do this for about one minute. The uh, easiest way to get up there, let's say, is an enderpearl, unless you want to build something permanent. And then, yeah, just chop down logs, see how much we can get in about one minute. Okay, this definitely wasn't a good ender pearl throw there. I lost a couple seconds. Let's maybe mine 10 seconds more. Get a better comparison. Obviously, you also need a little bit more space than that because there is also some time you would need to spend to collect saplings afterwards. If you always grow them in the same spot, there might not be enough saplings you can get back. Okay, I think this was pretty much a fair comparison now. Check it out. So we got, yeah, about... Six and a half stacks of planks. And I didn't gather any sapling. Um, I'd say it's not, not a landslide victory by the bamboo, but I feel like it's still slightly faster. Of course, it's also hard to compare literally every single situation somebody might be in. Definitely want to have a two hour video on this. For example, if somebody doesn't have a lot of space, it might definitely be better to grow two by two spruce trees just with bone meal. Of course, then there's also an alternative if somebody for some reason has a lot of leftover bone meal to just make a little contraption where the yeah, bamboo is getting bone meal with a dispenser and have something really compact as well. So it's kind of hard really to compare every single situation. And of course, if somebody is a builder and actually needs wood for the building projects, so use acacia wood or spruce wood, then of course the bamboo also doesn't help. So we mostly look at a situation where somebody needs any type of wood for crafting chests, hoppers, pistons, or stuff like that. But I still wanna take a look at one potential situation you might be in. So let's say you're already pretty established in your world. You have a nice space, but you're getting tired of having to farm resources manually. And you're also not afraid of doing a little bit of redstoning to build an automatic farm. So what's best now? There's three different types of farms. You could, for example, go for a bamboo farm, again, that is harvested by flying machines. You could go for a classic tree farm, or you could actually make a moss farm and just make a really small module where you farm bamboo. 
So those are all viable options. All have their pros and cons. Maybe let's quickly take a look at them. Speed at this point wouldn't matter that much anymore because you're getting several thousand planks per hour with any of those designs and you can always scale them up to make them larger. But of course, if you want to make a faster tree farm, it's getting a bit more complicated compared to just copying more modules of a yeah, bamboo farm or the, yeah, the moss-based bow mill farm to get bamboo this way. Complexity is definitely a downside of tree farms because you have to push logs around and so on, especially if you don't want to use any exploits like TNT tubing, for example, because then you gotta push the locks around. Uh, you can't just easily break them, like with the bamboo that you can break with a piston, so you need to either yeah, blow them up with TNT or wither. In the case you use a wither, then there's also disadvantages. You might destroy some of your stuff uh, if you use TNT. Then, of course, you also need to get resources um, yeah, to replenish the TNT. And there's one more downside of the automatic tree farms, which is you actually have to do stuff still, at least with the simple design. So you need to plant saplings, unless you want to go for the yeah, more complicated nether tree farms that can be fully automated, or the azalea tree farms. So fully automatic is still an option for this, but it's just easier, I'd say, with the bamboo farm. As I said, the simplest tree farm designs also make use of the TNT duping exploit, something you might not be able to use on a multiplayer server or you just don't want to use it. And also that's going to be fixed eventually anyway, so I'm definitely not going to take a look at that even. Next, let's take a look at the random tick-based flying machine bamboo farm. So here definitely the big advantage is that it's actually rather simple to build. You can make even simpler bamboo farms, of course, that are basically just bamboo and pistons next to it and then some redstone wiring. But when it comes to the build effort, you can't beat the flying machine designs. So that's usually yeah, my go-to farm for a bamboo farm, just because it's hardly any effort to build those. So most of the effort is actually just placing dirt and bamboo on top, and then there's a little bit of redstone required on both ends to deal with the hopper minecarts. So it's definitely nothing scary, but of course it has the downside that it can go a little bit wrong if you unload it. That's something you shouldn't do. But apart from that, for example, the design here in the back already produces 20,000 planks per hour. That's definitely a really decent amount. And I'd argue uh, for literally almost all cases, that's yeah as much as you need. But to be honest, what's probably the option that is overall the least amount of effort later in the game to get wood is just use your existing bowmill farm. So there's a couple of reasons why you would want to have such a more space bowmill farm in the first place. And then just yeah, getting wood from your bowmill farm is as easy as adding a little module to it. So I'm just gonna turn on the more spaced yeah, bowmill farm. There's probably a couple of reasons why you wouldn't to have this in the first place. And then you can just you hook this up for your bowmill bamboo and break it with pistons. So here we just then got the, yeah, the bowmill incoming from the moss farm and this would already make roughly 50,000 bamboo per hour or over 12,000 planks per hour. And it's actually hardly any effort to add this afterwards. Another big advantage of the bowmill based design is that you don't need a player nearby. So you don't need random ticks for the bamboo to grow. Technically, you can build this in the spawn chunks, produce wood while you're somewhere else in the world, or you could also use nether portal chunk loading to do the same. There's also one downside to the bone mill based bamboo farm design. It's rather laggy and you can't scale it up nearly as much as the random tick based bamboo farm design or the, yeah, just the tree farm design. So, this particular design here should still be fine in a normal world, but if you would try to build this like 10 times, <laughs> you probably will lag your computer, unless you have a really, really, really good one. Um, so you're kind of limited by lag at some point, but I argue that's not that relevant anyway. So you can still get several 10,000 planks per hour this way. Does it really matter that you can make a random tick based bamboo farm design that makes a million planks per hour? The same with the tree farm, because those are numbers you don't ever need in normal gameplay anyway. So a high-end bamboo or tree farm um, is mostly a vanity project. There's no real reason to build this anymore. So I'd say, yeah, for most cases, actually, bamboo is definitely the way to go for farming wood. 
personally, from now on, when I can choose between bamboo and dedicated tree farming, I definitely go for bamboo for gathering really any type of wood, just for chests and so on. Um, of course, there's still the vanity projects, as I said, and dedicated tree farms still have its place if you need to get certain type of wood for build projects. But apart from that, I feel like bamboo has the edge. Bamboo is king, it seems like, at least in this snapshot, because personally I feel like it would be okay if this would get nerfed a little bit. Feels like bamboo is slightly OP, and in my personal opinion, the last the game needs at this point is to make the survival game any more trivial. Also, especially if you look at the yeah, fuel efficiency, there's another point that seems a little bit weird. So you can craft two planks out of eight bamboo and smelt three items this way instead of two. So if you use planks, you can smelt yeah, one and a half items and four bamboo, you can only smelt one. It also seems a little bit weird how you get more fuel efficiency by doing something to a material without putting any energy in it. So if I had to make the decision what happens to bamboo in Minecraft now, I'd definitely nerf it a bit, but not in a way that, for example, you couldn't use the planks anymore for crafting pistons and so on, because in real life, bamboo is actually also OP. It's a really good type of wood. Um, it can be as hard as oak. It's very light, so it's actually a really good wood. But in real life, in order to actually use bamboo for planks, you have to apply pressure and heat to it, so you carbonize it to make it usable as a plank. You can't just take the, the green bamboo and somehow make planks out of it. Um, so you need to put in some energy. And I think this would also be good if you had to do this in Minecraft. For example, if you would uh, need to do something with the bamboo in a furnace first to turn it into dried bamboo. That also happens in real life. And then we could craft uh, planks out of four dried bamboo, for example. And we could still get planks just by farming bamboo. We could still use the bamboo as a fuel as well, like before. But it would be more expensive, basically. So you could make um, yeah, one plank out of 20 bamboo if you use bamboo for fuel, but you could also use a different type of fuel. There's also a precedence case already in the game. So you can't just craft a dried kelp block out of the green kelp. You actually have to dry it first in a furnace. I think it would definitely make sense if the same would apply to bamboo. Maybe we could even add a new type of blocks. This is something I saw, I think on Reddit, somebody suggested to have green bamboo blocks as well. Maybe we could craft those as well, but those wouldn't be usable um, for all the crafting recipes. Might be an idea. But who knows, maybe it's actually intended that bamboo is a little bit OP. Maybe Mojang has an agenda to promote it as eco-friendly alternative, something that also happens in real life. Alright, that's it for today. Let me know what you think about this. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.